Hello guys, how are you? I hope so, now we are going to talk about, Kia EV6 gets official EPA range numbers, up to 310 miles, but before I have to ask you to subscribe and leave your like, let's go to the video. The results are pretty good, slightly above the Hyundai Ioniq 5. The EPA range and efficiency ratings for first three Kia EV6 versions has been officially released, and they are slightly better than the corresponding Hyundai Ioniq 5 versions, see here. The entry-level Kia EV6 standard range RWD, with a 58kWh battery, and single motor, rear-wheel drive can go up 232 miles, 373 kilometers, on a single charge, according to the EPA combined cycle. The Kia EV6 Long Range RWD, with a 77.4 kilowatt hour battery, but still RWD, and a little more power, is expected to achieve 310 miles, 499 kilometers, which beats the expected 300 miles. Finally, the Kia EV6 Long Range AWD, which not only has the 77.4 kilowatt hour battery, but also two electric motors for all-wheel drive. It has an EPA range of 274 miles, 441 kilometers. Disclaimer, we don't know the wheel size of the three cars listed by EPA, so we assume that all are regular versions with 19-inch wheels, the model is envisioned for 19, 20 and 21, depending on version and trim. Because of the unknown wheel size, we are not sure about the EPA range of the Kia EV6 Long Range AWD First Edition, which will be launched first and was quickly fully reserved. The First Edition has 20-inch wheels, so it's expected to get a lower range than the regular EV6 LR AWD with 19 wheels, if such version would be available. Unfortunately, we must complain about the EPA as its documents no longer show the city and highway range ratings for new cars, 2022 model year. In terms of efficiency, the Kia EV6 results are better than Hyundai Ioniq 5, which of course is not a surprise as the EV6 is simply more aerodynamic. The SRRWD and LRRWD versions should achieve results of 288WH-ME, 179WH-KM, including charging losses and that's a good result, almost equal to the much smaller Chevrolet Bolt EV and Hyundai Kona Electric. The LRAWD version consumes 11.5% more energy in the EPA combined cycle. So that's it guys, comment what you think of this article, and don't forget to click like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching.